The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam. First Canto, 8th Chapter, Text Number 18 Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Recorded on April 10th, 1973, in New York. Translation Srimati Kunti said, O oh Krishna, I offer my obeisances unto you because you are the original personality and are unaffected by the qualities of the material world. You are existing both within and without everything, yet you are invisible to all. So, this is the position of God that He is everywhere. Annantarastham paramanu He is within this universe. He is within the atom also. Annantarastham paramanu Ekapasurachayatam jagadanna koti jachakti rasti jagadanna chayajadantam Annantarastham paramanu chayantarastham Govindamadi Purisham Tamaham Vaja. This is Brahma Sangita. The Lord, by expansion of one of His plenary portion, He is existing within this universe, not only within the universe, but within the atom also. Anoraniyana Mahato Mahiya. This is God's qualification that He can become the greater than the greatest. Just like the we have got conception, the greatest, this universe. Uh, we cannot even imagine how long, how far it is extended. But such universes are coming out from the breathing Mahavishnu. From his breathing, when he excels, innumerable universes come out, and when he inhales, all those universes again enters. Bhutta Bhutta Praliya. It is generated and again annihilate. This is going on. This is one side that universes, innumerable universes can be put into the nostril hole of the Mahavishnu. And another side, he can enter even within the atom. This is God, concept. Anurani yāga mahato mahiya. He is greater than the greatest. We generally say God is great, but we do not know how great He is. People say God is great, but we have no conception how great He is. He is so great that He can swallow innumerable universes within His belly. It's like when Krishna was challenged by his mother that, show me your face. Uh, you say that you have not eaten the earth. Your friends complain. And you say that you have not eaten. So I want to see. Open your mouth. <laughs> so when you open his heart, the, all the universes with his mouth. All the universes. He proved, my dear mother, not only little earth, but the whole universe is within my mouth. <laughs> so when Mother Jasada was astonished, she thought something ill is her. All right, don't do it again. <laughs> she does not know that here is the Supreme Personality of Godhead to show me his mercy has become my child. She does not know. She always thinks, he is my child. She is under my control. This is the relationship of the Supreme Personality of Godhead with 
is devotee. Uh, this is one thing. Simply to understand God is very great, that is not sufficient knowledge. Uh, when you deal with the great, exchange your relationship with the great, that is perfect. That is perfect. Uh, suppose your president is very great. That's all I, everyone knows. President is very great. But what shall I derive out of that? When I actually deal with him, I become his friend, I become his servant, I become his secretary, I become somewhere or other. If I am related with that great personality, that is my benefit. Otherwise, what is the you knowing ah, President Nixon is very there are so many what I am deriving from that gate? Uh, this is Krishna call. Uh, the Mahabadi philosophers, they simply remain silent. Oh, God is very great. And they cannot imagine how great He is. But a devotee can understand how great He is. He can see that innumerable universes are within the mouth of God. This is the position of the world. Uh, this is not sufficient knowledge. God is great. God must be great. Uh, that's all right. Uh, but unless you come in dealing with that great, uh, you cannot relish actually what is God and how great He is. Uh, so here Kunti says, Alaksaṁ sarva-bhūtāna uh, sarva-bhūtāna all living entities, halaksam, you are invisible. Uh, invisible, uh, although antar bahi avasthitam, you are within and without. Uh, God is within yourself. Ishara sarva bhutana riddesha arjuna tishthati. Uh, Ishara, the Supreme Lord, is situated in everyone's heart. The yoga system means to see, find out that God, Paramatma, are meditated upon Him. Yeah. Now the yoga system has come down as bodily exercise to keep the health very good, to reduce fat. This is yoga system. This is not yoga system. This is a bodily exercise. The real yoga is uh, the God is within me, but He is invisible. Alaksham, antarbahi, although He is within and without, still I cannot see. Uh, so meditation means concentrating the mind to find out God where He is within my heart. That is real perfection of yoga. <coughs> So people do not know this science. Here it is nicely explained. The antarbahi avasthitam, the Virat Ru, just like Arjuna wanted to see the gigantic form of God. He showed him. So we can see the gigantic form in this universe. Huh? That is described in the Bhagavatam. You have read that the the, the big, big mountains, hills, they are the bones of the gigantic form. Uh, so um, they are described. The, the highest planetary system, Brahma Loka, is the head, how do you call it? Skull? What is this portion? Huh? What is the English? This skull. So uh, the rivers are the veins, uh, the, the seas are the holes like here we have got. In this way it is all described, the gigantic form. Uh, so and the gigantic form at the same time he is within your heart, uh, very small form. Uh, so he is within and without. Simply we have to purify our eyes to see Him, that's all. You can see God without and within. 
But you cannot see with these eyes. These uh, materially contaminated eyes or materially contaminated senses, you cannot understand by these senses. Uh, but God can be perceived, can be seen by these senses, by these eyes, when you purify it. That purificatory process is Krishna consciousness. The more you purify, the more you can see God within and without. Atasya Krishna namadi na bhaved graiham indriyai. The indriyai, these senses cannot perceive, cannot see, cannot touch, cannot hear namadi. Unless you are purified, you cannot hear also Krishna name. Uh, unless you are purified, the name enters this year and goes out in this year. Okay. You cannot appreciate. That purificatory process is required. People are affected with three kinds of material quality goodness, passion, and ignorance. Generally, they are affected by the lower two qualities. Ignorance and passion. Rajasthan. How do we know that this man is in the modes of goodness and this man is in the modes of passion and this man is in the modes of ignorance? How do we know? By the symptom. By the symptom. When one is affected by the lower qualities, Rajasthan. Uh, passion and ignorance, his symptoms are that he is very greedy and lusty. These are the symptoms. As soon as we find a person is very greedy and lusty, he is to be understood under the control of the lower grade qualities of this material nature. And satagon means uh, prakas, illumination. Uh, when one is situated in the goodness, that is brahminical quality. Uh, Sattva, sama, dhamma, tvikha, uh, he is truthful, he is controlling the mind, controlling the senses, sama, dhamma, tvikha, he is tolerant, uh, tvikha, arjava, he is simple, simplicity. Sama Dhamma Tikha Suchi, he is clean. Jnanam, he knows things what it is. Vijnanam, he can apply the knowledge in practical life. Jnanam, Astikam, Astikam means to have firm faith in God. He knows the God is there. God is there and he knows the God is within, God is without. Uh, these are the symptoms of uh, a person who is in goodness. Uh, so these three classes of men are there. The Krishna consciousness movement means to bring persons from the wretched, low qualities, ignorance and passion, to bring him to the platform of goodness. And that goodness also has to be purified. In the material world, the goodness is also attacked by the other lower qualities. Big, big man, very good man, but there are so many defects. Because unless, first of all, we have come to the platform of goodness, brahminical position. Then you have to purify that good sattam vishuddham. Vishuddha satta. Vasudeva sabdi. Vasudeva platform. Then he will be able to understand what is God. It is not so cheap thing that one can understand God so easily while he is in the modes of material nature, especially the lower gate modes. So at the present moment, most people, they are in the lower grades 
of the material quality. Uh, ignorance and passion. Uh, therefore you see all over the world, rajastama bhava kamalobha, every man is greedy and lust. Every man. So, in this position, it is very difficult. Alaksang sarvabhūtāna. So unless you change this quality, this quality can be changed. It is not that it is stereotyped. How these European, American boys and girls, they are coming to Krishna consciousness. How? They have changed their quality. Uh, by the process, we have got this process. In this process, we can change the quality. Uh, that process is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Man jabya vicharini bhakti jogina ja sevati. Sagunan samatitta itan brahma bhuva yagalbhu. Krishna says, one who is engaged in my unalloyed service of bhavichari. No adulteration. Uh, pure devotional service. Mancha bhavicharini bhakti jogina ja sevati. One who is engaged in the service of the Lord. Uh, purify, unalloyed. Unalloyed means no motive. No motive. Annavilasita sunnam. Uh, other motives completely zero. Generally they go to temple, to church, to or mosque, generally. They go with a motive. Just like in the Christian world. They go that gods must be water supply. We shall pray to God and He must supply. Then I accept God. This is the condition. And if He does not supply my order, I don't care for this God. So they are not going to become servant of God. They want to make God His servant. God give us our daily bread. That's all right. God is giving daily bread. Why you are asking, bothering God? He is supplying food to so millions and trillions of living entities. And why not to you? He will supply. That is not our problem. The God will supply our bread. He is supplying without asking. He does, do the animals go and to the church and ask for uh, bread? Huh? But uh, they are getting sufficient. Huh? They are getting sufficient. Therefore, uh, God consciousness does not mean any motive to take from some God, something from God. That is not God consciousness. You give everything to God. That is God consciousness. Uh, uh, just like uh, the conception of accepting God as child, uh, that is a uh, bitter conception to accept God as Father, because from Father we simply take away. Father, give me this, give me that, give me that, give me that. And if you accept God as child, then you have to give everything. This is Gaudiya Vaishnava conception, Yasadāmāya. He has accepted his worshiping God as child, so that she is always engaged. Uh, the Krishna may be, may not be in any inconvenience about his body, about his comfort, uh, all this. Uh, Mother Jasudha is anxious, the Krishna is now very naughty, he may not capture some monkey, he may not fall down on the water, he may, may not be burnt in the fire, all is anxious. This is Krishna consciousness. She is always anxious to give protection to Krishna, the best service. Krishna does not require anyone's service. He is complete, Purnam. Uh, but uh, for uh, pleasing his devotee, he becomes dependent. Uh, uh, he is bothering mother, I am hungry, why don't you give me food? Uh, I will steal butter, your stock. So this philosophy, Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy, uh, 
is very sublime uh, to accept God as subordinate. Uh, Krishna says in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, he'll find that everyone worships me with awe and veneration. Uh, but if anyone worships me without any awe, uh, veneration, and te- treats me as insignificant, I like that. I like that. Uh, uh, so that exchange of Krishna's feeling you can uh, find in this Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy. Uh, that Mother Jasoda is treating Arjuna, yeah, Krishna as very insignificant. He is my child. Uh, if I don't give him protection, he will die. Uh, Therefore, Krishna is very much obliged to Mother Jasada. Yes. But nobody, everyone comes to God, oh, God is exalted. That is hearing throughout. But when the Mother Jasada comes and chastises him, he likes it very much. Likes it very much. So, Krishna, Krishna, although he happened to be nephew of Kunti. Kunti was Krishna's father's sister. But because he was devotee, he knew that, she knew that Krishna also, although the, she is playing the part of my nephew, she is the, he is the supreme personality of God. Therefore he said, she said, Namaste Purusam Tadyam Isharam Prakite Para. You are Ishara. You are the controller. What kind of controller? Uh, there are so many food controller and house controller, this yoga. No, not that kind of controller. Prakite Para. You are controller. Uh, your position is beyond this material world. Prakite. Prakriti means this material world. Huh. Prakriti para. Huh. That means these controllers within this material world, they are produced at a certain date and they will be finished at a certain date. These controllers, just like your president, Nixon, he is a controller of your country, but his controlling power is given at a certain date. And it will be finished. It is certain. So Kunti says, "You are not that kind of control. That your controlling power begins at a certain date and finishes at a certain date. That prakriti para. In the prakriti, within the material nature, we have got some controlling power. Everyone, but that has the beginning and end." As our life begins and ends, everything here in this material world, it has a beginning and end. But Krishna's controlling power is not like that. Uh, he says, uh, she says, Namasri Purushanta Adhyam. You are the original person. Uh, you have created this cosmos. So, before the creation of the cosmos, you are controller. And when the cosmos will end, you remain controller. Uh, therefore, prakriti power. Within the prakriti, within the material nature, uh, everything has got beginning and end, limited. You are not that kind of controller. Prakriti power. Itana. The another understanding is, that because Krishna is controller beyond this material nature, therefore he is not a product of this material nature. The Mahavadi philosophers, they cannot understand. They are poor fund of knowledge. If God has created this material world, then he must not be anything of this material world. Because uh, before creation he was existing, and after creation, after annihilation, he will remain, then how he can be anything of this material world? 
material world, anything, has got a beginning and end. But God is beyond this material world. Uh, he was existing. He said, let there be creation. Just like in your Bible it is said. So there was creation. So how He can be one of the created beings? By His wish there was creation. But another thing is, then His desires his wish, they are nothing of this material world. Uh, they are spiritual. Prakite para means superior to this material world. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, you understand there are two kinds of nature para and apara. So, this material nature is apara. Aparayam itasru vidhime prakitim para. Aparayam bhumi rapanalavayu. Uh, the land, water, fire, air, sky, these five elements, uh, they are described in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhinna me prakiti astadha. They are separated energy, inferior quality energy. But beyond this inferior quality energy, I have got another superior quality of energy. What is that? Jiva Bhuta. You can understand. Uh, the jiva the living entity. Jayadam uh, dharjate, because jiva bhuta, we living entities, we are superior than the matter, because we are controlling the matter. Uh, just like we have been in the river side, so many things, material things we saw. But who has made it? The living entities. Uh, the matter has not come into so many forms without the touch of the living entity. Everyone can understand. Uh, the big, big seeds, how it has come into existence. Because a living entity, plant, engineer, how to do it, and he brought material things, and he manufactured it. Therefore, these inferior energies, the material things, they are subordinate to the spiritual energy. Uh. <coughs> Therefore Krishna, when he is prakite para, he is beyond this material nature, uh, his body, his activities, uh, his um, pastimes, his name, his form, everything, it is not material. Therefore Krishna says in the Bhagavad-gītā, janma karma me divvam ju janāti tattata. If anyone simply tries to understand Krishna, as he is in truth, then he becomes liberated. Simply by understanding Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness. Uh, you try to understand Krishna, uh, not by speculation, but as Krishna says, as God says, or a Krishna devotee says, just like even Kunti. Kunti is a devotee of Krishna. She says that you are prakite para. She is authority. Uh, his authority, because devotee, every devotee, pure devotee, they are confidential. Otherwise, how Krishna has accepted to become her nephew, just like Krishna has accepted to become the son of Jasadamai or Devaki. Similarly, she has, uh, he has accepted to become a nephew of Kunti Devi. This um, prayer was offered by Kunti. When Krishna was taking leave, uh, after establishing them, after the battle of Kurukshetra, when everything was settled up, then Krishna was going back to Dwarka. So he came to offer his respects to his, to his aunt Kunti Devi, and when uh, the farewell was taking place, Kunti offered this prayer to Krishna. Uh, Namaste. Namaste. He, he is, happens to be nephew, but he is offering his obeisances. Uh, because he knows he is playing the part of my nephew, but he is the supreme personality of God. Therefore, although she is superior in position, because aunt, she is offering Namaste. I offer my respectful obeisance to you. Uh, this is the position. <coughs> so, 
uh, God is invisible who, for the persons who has no eyes to see Him. Uh, Alaksam, although He is everywhere. Uh, Annantarastham paramanu chayantarastham idam ibisham bhagavan. This Bisham, this universe, is the transformation of the energy of Krishna. Therefore, the energy is not different from the energetic. Therefore, the whole world is Krishna. Whole world is Krishna. So, we have to, see, we have to make our eyes. And that eyes can be purified, as it is stated in the Brahma Sangita. Premanyana churita bhakti bilochanena shanta sadai varidayesu bilokaya. Shanta, those who are saintly persons, those who have developed love for God, prema, that anjana, uh, that ointment, who has smeared the ointment of love on the eyes, that then, just like we apply sometimes oint, ointment and surma, what is called in English, surma, this powder or something. Anyway, so when our eyes are cleansed, we think clearly. Similarly, if we apply the ointment of love of God on the eyes, then we can see God. Just like what Krishna, Kunti is seeing. Others, they do not understand that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But the Pandava and the Pandava's mother, they know that here is Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. Alaksam, uh, it's like Krishna was exhibiting his Virat Rupa in the battle of, battlefield of Kurukshetra. Only Arjuna was seeing, nobody else. Uh, so God reveals Himself to the devote. Uh, although it's like Prahlad Maharaj was seeing the Nishinga Dev has come, and his father, it is father, he was challenging, very dear God. So God is everywhere, but He is not visible to the non-devotee. But one who is devotee, He can see Him. Every, not only once. Premanyana chudita bhakti vila chanena santa sadaiva. Sadaiva means always. He is seeing all of Krishna. Uh, that is the position of saintly person. Srimanyana Charita Bhakti Bilochanena Santa Sadaiva Ridayeshu Ridayeshu in the, the heart. Bilokanti Tesi. Uh, so if you can see God, you can talk with God, if you can go back to home, back to God, why should you uh, lose this opportunity? This opportunity is in the human being. Uh, you can see God, you can talk with God, you can go back home, back to God. Everything is possible, and that is Krishna consciousness. Thank you very much. Thank you.